has favored people with different portions of blessings. So we see that not everyone has exactly the same, not the same amount of money, not the same knowledge, not the same look, not the same of almost many things. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also mentioned that. He's the one who raised uh, you one among or over the other to check, to test you. Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave someone a lot of money, someone uh, less money, someone a lot of knowledge, someone less knowledge, someone a lot of uh, good abilities in one area and less in the other area. At the, but the bottom line is everyone has got a lot. Uh, maybe you got less money but a lot of other things and so on. So we believe Allah is so fair and great. So he was fair with everyone. And we should look for what Allah has given you, every one of us. Allah wants us to, to use the good things, that the many good things Allah has given us uh, and enjoy it. Some people, unfortunately, uh, as we mentioned before, they only focus in one area and they start comparing themselves to others. And maybe they will end up nowhere. Uh, for example, if they take money, there will always be someone who has more money than me or you. If you think this is the only major, and you're going to suffer, and you know the worst part of it is you may not enjoy what Allah has given you, even of the money itself. Maybe the money Allah gave you is much more than you need. Huh? And you wouldn't have a lifetime to spend it. So enjoy it. Maybe Allah gave you many other uh, skills and habits uh, and, and, and hobbies. And you need to look for it and use it. Enjoy it and benefit the society and the humanity as well. Maybe you are, have certain uh, skill in one area that Allah has given it to you. Only to you. So find it and use it and enjoy it. Uh, and use it so you gain also the pleasure uh, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is how it is. So someone has a lot of area, one area, a list in another area, but maybe different portions of many things. Someone is full of compassion and love, huh? but less money, but more knowledge. Someone is much smarter, and so on and so forth. Someone has got abilities, so he's fit to be a minister. Someone is fit to be project manager. Someone is fit to be a teacher. Someone is fit to be a medical doctor. Huh? So no one is better than the other in that sense. You'll be better if you better use the skills Allah has given you. And today when it comes to money, which is a very common thing that people uh, consider as a, 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 a symbol of... Uh, Welfare, maybe. Everyone wants more money. And there's nothing wrong with that. And in fact, believers are recommended highly to make more money. But there are conditions. Huh? There are conditions here. Number one, Allah is the one who provides for people less or more. And the Prophet ﷺ told us, Allah sometimes knows best what is good for you. So Allah knows best that it's good for you to be rich. But sometimes Allah knows best for you to be moderate or to be poor. And you will be better off if you are with less money. And we have examples of people when they became rich and have a lot of money, they changed. Their habits, their behavior huh? completely changed. They were much better before, right? So the Prophet ﷺ warned us, in fact. In fact, there was an example in the life of the Prophet ﷺ. One of his companions said, Ya Rasulullah, pray for me to have a lot of money. The Prophet ﷺ warned him. He said, maybe you are okay now with what you have. He said, no, I want a lot of money. I'll be doing better. So he said, may Allah bless you with a lot of money. So Allah accepted these prayers and he had a lot of money, a lot of cattle, sheep, and no, no, a lot of wealth. And gradually he started being late to come to join the Salah with the Prophet. Then he started not coming. 
Then he started being lazy to pay zakah. <laughs> now he has a lot of money. So if you ca calculate the zakah, if I have a thousand, uh, and then I have to pay 25 only because it's two and a half percent. But if I have a million, uh, and then it becomes 25,000. It's a big number. Uh, I can do something with it. Allah gave you a lot. So why do you think it's a lot? So the guy started saying, ah, oh, this is a lot, like Qarun, the one whom Allah gave a lot of money. And I earned it because of me. I had the skills. I'm smart. I'm skillful. I'm capable. I'm better than others. I paid the effort in collecting this money. You're asking me to pay half a million dollars of zakah? Yeah, but you have millions and billions. And this portion, Allah gave it to you. Allah added it. This two and a half percent to your income, so you pass it to the needy. So it's not your money. Allah just uh, topped it to your income. This is the minimum you pay. So people start uh, getting hesitant when they have more money. Some people. The Prophet took to, to, to clarify the situation. He said, the rich uh, who is thankful and doing it right, is in the, at the beginning of those who enter the paradise together with those poor who are patient. Huh? And two cases you can envy those two people. A person who is very rich and who's spending the money in the right direction. You can envy that person for that. To wish to be like them. Someone who is very rich like some of our good people who are really rich but they are generous they are spending their wealth in the right cause left right and center in the right cause here it is for development here it is for refugees here it is for relief here it is for investment here it is for orphans and widows here it is for hospitals schools messages they will spend here it is for my uh, society here it is for anyone who is in need. This type of people are the ones we need to follow. And the Prophet ﷺ said, لا حسد إلا فتنتين. You would not, huh? if there is any good envy, it will be in this case. In a case of a person who is very wealthy and he's doing it right. Who is spending the money in the right cause. And someone will look at that person and say, I wish I have the same money. I would do the same. They are equal in reward. They're equal in reward. The other case is the one who has the knowledge and he use it properly. Had the knowledge and they use it in developing something good, in teaching, in reforms. In ah. So to be rich is great. salih in the rajul salih It's a blessed money with the hand, in the blessed hands of the good person. Hmm? So you are recommended to seek more money, but there are conditions the first one is to seek it from halal. There is no one to say, yeah, I'll get a lot of money to, to spend and give sadaqah, but you steal it. No. Huh? Or through illegal ways. No. Allah will not accept that, and in fact, it's rejected. If someone steals, like uh, whatever we use to have in novels, and then this is rejected. You cannot steal to give uh, in the right cause. This is wrong and it's rejected. So it has to come from halal. Mm -hmm. It has to come from halal. Secondly, is you, uh, Allah does not uh, send down gold and silver directly from heaven. So, so Allah gave us the skills and the tools to make gold and silver and to make money. So you can sit at home or sit in the masjid and make dua the whole day and nothing will happen if you don't follow what Allah told you. Allah gave us the tools to gain knowledge. Go and seek uh, education. Use your knowledge. Look for a job or start your trade, your business. Huh? Do it properly. Study the best ways to do it and then ask Allah for help and then start collecting the good money and the amounts. That's how it works. But this is in general. And, and you know that. So you got to work hard to look for a job or look for the right business. Make business study. Make any business plans. Whatever. Do whatever is needed properly, legally to get a good job and to seek more money. 
but you need to take also the other measures that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said. Number one, seek it from halal. Secondly, for those believers, Allah guaranteed the good life. وَلَوْ أَنَّهُمْ آمَنُوا وَاتَّقَوْا لَفَتَحْنَا عَلَيْهِمْ بَرَكَاتٍ Those who truly believe and do good, Allah promised to open channels of blessings. But you need to be careful here. Blessings is not a dollar figure. Huh? You cannot ask for blessings when you get your pay or paycheck or uh, salary transfer. There will be no component called barakah or blessings. This blessings comes from Allah only for the people deserve it. Someone gets a hundred thousand, but they don't have the blessing. Someone has five thousand and Allah gives him the blessings they will enjoy it more. Huh? They would enjoy that 5,000 when Allah gave him the blessings. Huh? So the barakah is not something that you can actually count or get, get in, the, in your bank statement. But you will live it. Another is to spend. Subhanallah, I spend money. Yes, spend money so Allah give you more money. Huh? Pay the zakah, as I told you. Pay the zakah, the obligatory zakah is a must to pay it. Not only the zakah, the two and a half percent, but give more in sadaqah. Huh? Give more for the needy. Give more for the right cause. And you know the examples of people Allah praised. Even though they are in need themselves, they gave away to the needy. And Allah in return will give them back. And the Prophet ﷺ told us, مَا نَقَصَ مَالٌ مِنْ صَدَقَةٌ No wealth will be decreased because of sadaqah. The sadaqah here means zakah plus. The obligatory zakah plus more. Especially when there is a need. When there is a time when the ummah, when the Muslims are in calamities and hardships. We have millions and millions of people who are in need. In Syria, in Iraq, in Palestine, in Yemen, in many, uh, many places of the world. Huh? Even brothers in humanity who are in need, we are responsible to help if we have the means and the resources. Of course. And Allah wants us to do that. The Prophet said, Fi kulli kabidin, huh? Ratbatin sadaqa. In every soft heart, there will be reward. And it will be considered the, this person who gave water to the dog, Allah rewarded him. Huh? Give water to a thirsty dog, animal. What if you give to a thirsty human, a, 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 per, a person? What if you give to someone in need? Of course you will get reward. Another way, another re reason to get the barakah and to get the risk extra is to stop doing evil. <laughs> huh? To stop doing evil because one of the worst doors of bankruptcy is committing sins. And the Prophet ﷺ highlighted that. He said, Nothing will uh, destroy and stop the rizq than the sins and qati'atul rahim. Committing sins, and specifically, he highlighted to be to severe the relationship, the kin, the blood relationship. These two are the easiest and the quickest to kill and destroy your wealth and to stop you from getting it in the first place to getting it. and opposite to that nothing will bring you more risk than being good to your kids and relatives and especially number one your parents huh? to be good to your parents and to be good to your relatives and kids and blood relatives is the quickest way to get more risk more provision what do you think if you join them all to be good to them and give them sadaqah and give them help, to give it to your uh, immediates and to spend on them, then the smart person will do that. And this will be one of the greatest ways of getting uh, in return from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessings and more money, uh, and much more money. They are, these are some of the ways that to maximize your profit with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to maximize your uh, money in fact to make more money is a must on everyone because a muslim should be independent economically and financially and should always try to have the upper hand what it means to give 
A Prophet said, Al Yadul Uliya Khair, the upper hand that gives. Huh? So, like someone who was sitting, always praying in the masjid and going back and so on. So, the Imam or the Khalifa asked him, What are you doing? He said, I'm in ibadah, I'm dedicating myself for ibadah. He said, How you make your li uh, living? He said, My brother huh, is spending on me. My brother is helping me and giving me my needs. He said, Wallah, your brother is better than you. Of course. Your brother is better than you because the Prophet وسلم, said, The best of things you will eat is what comes as a result of your hands' work. The best provision you earn is the, way, the thing that comes as a uh, result of your hands' effort. Even he gave example of Prophet Dawood. He had a job. He used to make these shields and similar to earn his living. It, likewise, other prophets had their own jobs. And, uh, so it's the best not to be lazy and unemployed just sitting there asking people for help. No, this is not the best for believers. In fact, this is renounced. Go out and make a living, make more money, give zakah and get multiples of zakah. Zakah will not be enough. It's not going to be enough to support the army uh, or to help the needy or the refugees. We need to give more and you need wealthy people to do that. You need a government that has a lot of money, that uh, has a lot of resources. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless your wealth and increase it. Inshallah, and give you a lot of barakah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make this country and this land safe and peaceful. And may Allah give safety and peace to our brothers in Syria and Iraq and Yemen and all around. Ameen ya Rabbil Alameen. Wa sallillahum wa sallim wa barik ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in.